Morning guys, I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Uh, today's video is a very short one. Um, I noticed when I plugged in my mobile phone or cell phone in the um, uh, lead that I've got plugged in at the 28 in Nissan Leaf, um, when I fired up Android Auto, um, I noticed there was a little tiny uh, icon. I took a screen grab uh, on my mobile phone so you'll see what to look for. Um, it was this morning, so um, I updated it, so if the picture's a little bit uh, dim, I apologise for that. Anyway, um, it basically said update, you press it, and then you have to follow the uh, instructions on screen. It then says basically you have to unplug the phone, so basically disconnect it completely, then basically uh, reconnect the uh, phone uh, to your lead to the vehicle and then basically um, you get a completely different interface um, it's a lot nicer to use because you've got a traditional app layout that you'd actually have that mimics your um, phone I mean admittedly there's not a lot of apps uh, but I've got a lot of apps installed on my Android Auto um, as you'll see I'll do an overlay basically I've got like obviously the maps and my music um, you've got settings and weather but if you actually touch things like Google News it will actually come through the speakers about the actual latest news and you can actually when you go into that menu you can actually select what news outlet you want you can use like CNB, uh, C, I think it is there's Sky News and there's obviously Google's own news I think it was a BBC as well um, so that's pretty good I haven't used things like the calendar um, I haven't got pod podcasts on it um, but you can actually set reminders which is uh, pretty uh, clever and if you tap the uh, weather icon that would actually come through um, like it would if you actually done the um, like if you said like the O K and then G double O G L E I won't say because it will come up um, and you said what's the weather today that will actually come through you haven't got to say you just press it and it will actually automatically come through so that's pretty handy um, and so that's about it on this guys um, I did notice the maps looks a lot um, more it's still the same graphics because it's the same overlay but I don't know the angle seemed a lot better for when you're actually driving if you're using that rather than the traditional sat nav in the vehicle anyway guys I hope you have a good uh, rest of the Tuesday and I'll speak to you guys in the next one and enjoy very very impressed bye for now